Hello, hello. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick video on how to do the sublimation onto a coffee mug using an air fryer. Uh, if you look on like Marketplace or Craig, wherever, you can find these. I found this one for $2. Um, and that's all I use it for is just for sublimating on the coffee mugs and using a mug wrap. You have to make sure that if you put anything in this that is not food, you never put food in it again. Since it's had stuff in it for sublimation, you cannot put food in it again. It is not safe. So if you get one and you're just going to use it for that, you need to make sure that everybody else knows not to put any type of food into the air fryer after you've put the sublimation stuff in it. So um, the designs I made uh, inside Silhouette software. Um, and then the mugs I got from Condi. I will post a link in the comments below. And the parchment paper. My paper also came from Condi. You need to make sure that you have your image flipped, mirrored, whatever. So you're gonna need your image and then also a piece of the parchment paper. I get mine on giant rolls from Sam's Club and they deliver it to my home. So you have your mug. Right now I just have this warming up. It's 400 degrees and it takes um, nine minutes for each mug and halfway through, you need to flip the mug over and I'll show you that. So you're gonna take your image, turn it sideways so you can see. So we're just gonna put the image around the cup and you want it on a flat surface so that you know that this is even all the way around. So once you get it on there, you're gonna tape. Tape your image in place. And I'm using the um, heat tape, also from Condi. And now I'm gonna take my piece of parchment paper. We'll put a piece of tape on the end of it. And we're gonna wrap it also around the mug by having it on a flat surface so that it, okay, that's it. So you have your image under there and then you have the paper, this is my image, and this is the parchment paper. You take your cup, and we're gonna put it in the mug wrap. Um, the mug wraps are kind of expensive, uh, but you can do, I think this one is for a, a few different sizes, so that's kind of nice. Um, you're just gonna put it on there until it pops down in place and then tighten it down. And you want it tight, pretty tight. Okay, we're gonna take this, everything's in there. Put it in, make sure that our time is on nine minutes. And like I said, halfway through, we're gonna need to um, flip it over. And this is what we're gonna have when, um, we're done. Like I said, I got the puppy. It was on, it was free clip art online. I just cut it in half in the silhouette software and made it so that I could put the name in the center of it. And then um, this design I bought off of Etsy. So if you just search, um, you'll be able to find something. And you're also gonna need something to protect your hands so that you do not uh, burn yourself. And this will take a few minutes. Like I said, we have nine minutes to wait. So. If you're only do, I can do two, two wraps on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper by spacing them out because I have perfect rectangles that I print out with designs on them so I know where the layouts go. 
And I can get two on, like I said, eight and a half by 11, and then I just cut it out and make sure um, it wraps around the cup pretty well. So air fryer is at 400, timer is set for nine minutes and halfway between, uh, we are going to flip the whole thing over because if you don't flip it over, it's just gonna get a lot of heat on the top, which will scorch and then the light, the bottom side won't get as much heat so it's kind of light and you don't want that. By flipping it, you get nice even sublimation all the way around. I will post links in below for the uh, mugs, the wrap, and uh, the paper that I use, also the heat tape. You can't use regular tape because it'll leave like burn marks on your cup, so you do have to use the special heat tape. Gloves I got just at Home Depot. Um, I'm not even sure they're heat resistant gloves, but it protects my hands enough that I can mess around and play and touch without burning myself. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that's needed for any of this? I don't think so. Pretty sure that's the extent of it. If you need to fast forward, now would be the time to skip through. Perfect.